pass-throughs behind bars for sexually battering a juvenile female relative. On Wednesday the 10th of July, the Hernando County Sheriff's Office in Florida was contacted by the out-of-state family member of a teenage female victim in reference to a sexual battery that had occurred a day prior to residence in Brooksville, Florida. The victim, who lives in New York and was visiting family in Hernando County, was brought to the Sheriff's Office by a family member upon learning of the allegations. The victim told detectives that she was home alone with the suspect, 55-year-old Willie Martinez, when the incident occurred. While alone with William, the victim said that William offered her a frozen drink, which he had purchased the day prior to a local convenience store. The victim told detectives that the drink had a funny taste, and said that William gave her a THC gummy. She said that William began to sexually batter her by touching her inappropriately, and forcing her to touch him. Following the sexual battery, the victim stated that she went to a bedroom and slept. William, who's a pastor at Kingdom of Hope Ministries in Wikiwachi, Florida, denied all of the allegations made by the victim. During the investigation, detectives executed a search warrant at the suspect's residence in Brooksville, where forensic evidence was collected. Blood and urine tests were submitted by the victim, which showed the presence of alcohol and THC. Following questioning, William was arrested and charged with two counts of lewd and lascivious behaviour of a victim over 12 and less than 16, and two counts of sexual battery by a family member of a victim over 12 and less than 16. William remains held at the Hernando County Detention Centre without bond. An Indiana State Prison employee in Michigan City has been caught trying to smuggle contraband into the facility. A nurse at the prison is accused of trying to smuggle cocaine and marijuana inside a frozen bowl of lasagna. Authorities said that 46-year-old Regina Davis reported for work on the 3rd of July and had a property scanned as a standard procedure before being allowed in the facility when security officers felt something was odd about images in a bowl of lasagna. After chipping into the frozen pasta layers, two packages containing 84 grams of cocaine and 49 grams of marijuana were discovered in the food. Initially, Regina said that she did not know the lasagna contained any contraband, but investigators said her story changed when she was shown pictures of the drug-filled packages recovered from her cell phone. Regina said she was given instructions by unknown people on where to pick up the contraband and how it should be given to a person that would show up at her workstation and use code language. She told investigators that the safety of her and her family member were threatened if she did not comply. She's been charged with two counts of trafficking with an inmate. This is the latest instance of an Indiana State Prison employee caught allegedly trying to smuggle contraband into the facility. In late May, two correctional officers at the prison were arrested when they were caught trying to enter the facility with contraband. 38-year-old Janice Clark had two vacuum sealed bags of marijuana between two slices of bread wrapped in plastic like a sandwich. When questioned, Janice told investigators that she had already made close to $20,000, bringing marijuana and tobacco to inmates over an undisclosed period of time. 56-year-old Aretha Roberts was accused of reporting to work with frozen balls of tobacco. She claimed were brownies baked in peanut butter. Court documents revealed that all the individually wrapped tobacco balls inside two Ziploc-type baggies weighed just over 19 ounces. The tobacco was allegedly intended for offenders, but Loretha denied receiving any money to deliver the contraband and claimed it was her first smuggling attempt at the facility. A 41-year-old man has been arrested after killing his parents and their family dog. At around 7.30am on Tuesday the 9th of July, authorities responded to a home in the San Juan Mobile Estates in the 32,000 block of Alapaz Street in Orange County, California, on reports of domestic violence. When deputies arrived, they discovered a horrific scene where two elderly victims, identified as 79-year-old Antoinette Girdville and her husband, 77-year-old Ronald Girdville, had been decapitated along with their dog. The suspect, the couple's son, 41-year-old Joseph Girdville, was spotted minutes later, covered in blood chasing a maintenance worker through the trailer park where the family lived. Authorities said he stole the worker's golf cart before fleeing the scene. Deputies found Joseph near a bike trail exit where he was shot multiple times. Deputies rendered aid to the suspect until medics arrived and transported him to a local hospital, where he's currently in a stable condition. Authorities said that Joseph, who lived in the community with his parents, is still in the hospital. He'll be booked on two counts of homicide when he's medically cleared. They added that Joseph will likely face additional charges. One neighbour, David Desmond, said he saw Joseph fighting with his father the day before the murder. He said that Joseph was in his face and looked angry while confronting his father. 
Another resident, Bob DeMario, claimed that Joseph had a drug issue. That's why he lived there and they kept him there. Nearby residents reported seeing Antoinette walking a dog all the time in the area. Neighbour Victoria Alford said that the pair were a very sweet couple, adding to be murdered by own son is just tragic. The investigation into the matter continues.